Prime Minister James Marape launched the two CAD generators with a power capacity of 1.1 megawatts each to the people of Komo Magarima. He said the gensets are put in place to cater to the people in the absence of power from heights. The member for Magarima has managed to pull over 40 kilometers of power lines along the feeder roads in this district. The governor and the officer have worked in partnership, so we're just happy to compliment the evidence of DSIP at work. Uh, in the last uh, two, two years since we've been in government, we've rolled out close to over 40 million kinates to all the districts in our country. Prime Minister Marape said these gensets are evidence of what the member of Komo Magarima has been doing to connect power to those in rural areas. The government says rural Papua New Guineans are equally entitled to electricity like those in urban areas. Uh, this is uh, MOU, and block working really hydro, or tried long uh, tari. Um, yes, we probably got a uh, big power project. We probably building long heights now. Put him the big power land in Ronia, but uh, league league, we probably fund him in uh, partnership with provincial government here and uh, local member of the UMI, Makiba. Song said they have thought of investing on the hydro projects as part of their social obligation project under the direction of the Prime Minister and the government. Also, I'm working with the MOU to partner with the provincial government and PNG Power, Nakumu Petroleum. I'm working with hydro, outside of Tari. Song and Governor for Hela, Philip Undialu, signed the MOU, witnessed by the Prime Minister, Manase Makiba, and William Poe. Under the agreement, Hela Provincial Government and their DDAs will contribute 30% and Como Petroleum will contribute 70% to the hydro projects. Carol Kiru Jr., TV1 News.